An American singer Fallu's song Abundance in Millets, it actually features the Prime Minister, has been nominated for Grammy Awards. We're going to bring you more details about this. It's been nominated specifically in the Global Music Performance category at the 2024 Grammy Awards. We're going to tell you more about these details, but we had my colleague Anusha. She sat down and interviewed the singer about this song and what this nomination means. Take a look. <laughs> So as I said earlier, congratulations on this nomination. I think very well deserved. And uh, the fact that it has been done for such a great cause uh, makes it all the more special. So your thoughts on this wonderful nomination? Well, it's, uh, it's a very happy and a big blessing, I would say, because the more people know about the health benefits of millets, and the more we can make them aware of this holistic grain that can be grown in low rainfall regions because they are affected through climate change, I think it will be better for the future generations and this generation to go to healthy eating and holistic eating. And this is this song, music, makes it very possible for people to understand the qualities of millets in the, in three minutes, you know, in a song way, in a musical way. So I found that the whole cause of you know helping end world hunger along with the UN and making people aware of the health benefits of millets was all so beautifully tied in yeah. Prime Minister's mind and he it was his idea I was just somebody who who executed it with, along yeah. with Gaurav Shah and the amazing team of musicians that we have in the US mm -hmm. and finally seeing something like this end up with a Grammy nomination in one of the biggest categories, which is global, um, along with such amazing legends like Zakir Hussain, who was also nominated, uh, just comes as a blessing. And we're very, very humbled and we are truly honored to be there on the same. Uh, the effort that the Prime Minister has put in highlighting this message, um, not just for India, but across the world to end hunger, malnutrition, and to offer alternatives to the world when it comes to better health, millets can be a great example. And that's the reason international organizations like United Nations have come forward and joined India uh, in that initiative. How crucial and fundamental was the role and push from the Prime Minister? Because it does take a leader and a leadership assertive uh, enough to deliver these kind of things on a world stage. Well, our Prime Minister is very well respected because he also started the Yoga Day on June 21st in the entire world and every everybody in the world does yoga. He came here and he did it in, at the UN along with so many of us. So he he's a visionary and this was his vision and he took the proposition to the UN. The UN along with 72 other countries accepted it. And we also did the interviews for millets in so many languages in the world, which was also UN's initiative to support the International Day of Millet. Uh, International Year of Millet, I'm sorry. And I think a leader who can think so innovatively, a leader who can use music as a powerhouse to transform humanity, to end, help end world hunger, and also give a way to deal with climate change by growing millets in low rainfall regions, helping farmers. I think all of this collectively translated in coming together and his cause of no child goes to sleep hungry or let's help end world hunger is absolutely celebrated and you can see the West completely supports this cause as by giving it a nomination.